All right, great. As we mentioned before, we can use the TVM worksheet of the calculator to solve problems with equal and regular cash flows. By definition, it is just annuities that offer such a payment structure. For problems with unequal cash flows, we use the cash flow worksheet. A typical application you can think of is a capital budgeting exercise. In such a context, we need to determine the viability of an investment project, which requires an initial investment, but then generates a series of unequal cash inflows in subsequent years. The CF key is in the second row of the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. The best way to illustrate how it works is by providing an example. Imagine that we have the following. A project requires a $10 million investment and generates three subsequent cash inflows. $3 million in the first year, $4.5 million in the second, and $5 million in the third year, as shown on the following timeline. The discount rate we would use is 10%, and we would like to know whether the project will be a profitable endeavor by determining its net present value and internal rate of return. All right, we press the CF button. The first thing we see on the screen is CF0. This is the initial cash flow. As you can see, there is already a value that we have. So before we start entering data, we need to clear the calculator's memory registers by pressing second, clear work. Now we can input the cash flows. As noted earlier, we will follow the principle that cash inflows are entered as positive while cash outflows are negative. Since the project requires an investment of $10 million, we type 10 million, followed by the plus minus key to change its sign. Then we hit enter. Great, we've just stored the first value. Of course, we will need the rest of the cash flows. To do that, I'll press the down key. Cash flow one equals $3 million. Then we scroll down. What we would see next is F01, which stands for the frequency or number of occurrences for the first cash flow. It's equal to one, which is the calculator's default value. If the project generates equal cash flows of $3 million per year for the next three years, we would be able to assign F01 as three. But that's not the case here, so we move on by scrolling down. The second cash flow, CO2, is equal to $4.5 million. Once again, we enter the value as a positive number because it's a cash inflow. We scroll down past F02 to enter the third and final cash flow, CO3, which is equal to $5 million. If we continue to input values, we will see that the calculator allows us to enter up to 32 additional unique cash flows. And the frequency of each one could be from 1 to 9,999. I'm sure you could do the math and figure out the total number of cash flows we could enter using the Texas Instruments BA2+. Fortunately for the problem at hand, all we have to do is input these three cash flows. All right, now that we have entered the relevant cash flows, let's calculate the project's net present value and internal rate of return. We can perform these calculations effortlessly. First, we press the NPV button. Once we do that, we'll be asked for I, the discount rate in our case. We input 10, followed by enter, and then we scroll down. The only thing we need to do is press Compute to obtain the project's NPV, which equals $202,855, rounded to the nearest integer. Well done. What about the project's IRR? No worries. We can easily calculate that as well. This time, we press the 
IRR button, followed by compute. The result is 11.06%, rounded to the second decimal point. Now, if we return to the cash flow worksheet, we could see that the calculator remembers the values we entered previously. This memory function is very useful when we need to change any of the values. For example, let's assume that the discount rate is 9% instead of 10%. We press the NPV key and replace it. Then we compute for NPV to obtain the new NPV figure, $400,771. In this way, we can perform a sensitivity analysis effortlessly. Deleting and inserting cash flows isn't difficult either. Let's say that we would like to remove CO1 from the calculation. We press CF, then we scroll down to the cash flow and press second DEL. The calculator erases the value and decreases the number of subsequent cash flows automatically. So the first cash flow becomes $4.5 million, and so on. And in case we change our mind and decide that we still want to have a first cash flow of $3 million, we could press second INS for insert and then enter the value, $3 million. When you insert a cash flow, the calculator increases the number of the following cash flows automatically up to the maximum number of 32. So, 4.5 million is now CO2. All right, before we wrap up this video, let's examine another case very quickly. Assume that the project generates $2 million per year from year 4 to year 20. What would be the project's NPV? Let's see. Since the calculator remembers the previously entered values, all we need to do is locate CO4 and work from there. We press CF and scroll down. Then we input $2 million. Now, instead of entering the cash flows from CO4 to C20 manually, we could change the frequency, FO4, from 1 to 17. Then we press NPV. The discount rate, I, equals 10%. We scroll down and compute for NPV to obtain that it's $12,256,278. Voila! Now you know how to compute NPV and IRR. In our next video, we will examine some of the statistical functions of the calculator. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.